So uh, before we answer the question why cloud native security matters, we should probably start to ask the question, well, what exactly is cloud native security? So in the cloud native world, we have the intersection of conversations like DevOps, continuous delivery, microservices, and containers. There's really nothing cloudy per se about any of these things. In fact, I would say that cloud native is really primarily about how, not where. But there is a sense in which the cloud is, in fact, a place. Um, I defined it in my book a couple of years ago as any environment in which computing, networking, and storage resources can be provisioned and released elastically in an on-demand self-service manner. And we use cloud platforms for the purpose of getting to things like speed and scalability but then also security. The goal is that by simply running your applications on a platform like this, they should be secure by default. Well, then how do we want to actually shift our approach? What's our belief that the mainstream, reactive, process-driven, slow-it-down, don't-touch-it approach that tends to dominate software security in the enterprises that we see is inherently broken? Um, if you want to be more secure, you should actually try to move faster. Now, if we look at the seemingly daily IT breach reports, I'm sure you all know that, well, we've lost the microphone here. Um, we'll find three persistent themes. Uh, malware, advanced persistent threats, and leaked credentials. Malware. You know, any program, obviously, that finds a way into my computer to act on some malicious intent. Well, what makes us vulnerable to that? Well, as it turns out, it's our own software. We have thousands of catalog vulnerabilities still installed and running in our data centers today. Why? Because, well, we won't patch. We don't have the confidence as an organization that when we push out a patch, we won't break the world in the process. And so rather than risk bringing down a system, we to turn our security posture into a game of chance. So what's our posture? Repair it. You have to patch as soon as it's out. Well, how do you deal with that confidence problem, those testing scenarios? Well, part of the deal is that you need some standard cache of golden images that all your software is going to run on. And then you need an automated way to patch and push those images out. And if you can get that, then you're well positioned for the next phase. Advanced persistent threats. So attacker penetrates the network and hides undetected. It needs time to mature. Think about cancer. Cancer doesn't kill in a day, but it kills as it spreads over time. Time is what an APT feeds on. Well, what makes us vulnerable? Our current reactive culture of detection. Even if we find them, that's very different from fixing and remediating them. So our posture is to repave everything continuously from those continuously repaired images. Every time you do it, you eradicate any malware that's already gained access, and with continually stronger images, that malware may not be able to gain access again. And so we move from a model where long uptimes is what we were rewarded for to a model where we ask, what's the minimum amount of time that a server must live? Which leaves credentials. Imagine all of the unique usernames and passwords that you personally manage. Well, there are more in the data center. And we tend to enforce rotation policies on humans, but we don't do that as much in the data center. And what this means is that, again, given enough time, you're going to spring a leak. And when you do, you're leaking liquid gold in the form of those credentials. So our posture is rotate your credentials, all of them, as frequently as possible, on intervals measured in minutes, if you possibly can. And by doing that, when you eventually spring that leak, you'll be liking liquid zinc instead of liquid gold. So for the most prevalent threats faced by the enterprise, the thing that makes us vulnerable is reducing the rate of change in order to avoid risk. And yet, reducing the rate of change is actually what's increasing our risk. And so to mitigate, we continuously employ the three R's, repair, repave, and rotate. Want to be more secure? Go faster. Thank you.